Hello, this is Bob Burns, Mayor of the City of Marshall. Um, I'm, I'm speaking to you on uh, the morning of June 25th, and I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about uh, what we experienced the past uh, few days, really within the, the past week in relation to the volume of water that is in the river, the level of uh, water from the heavy precipitation that was experienced, as well as the flood control protection and really how it did function and function really as it has been designed. So in the history of, uh, of Marshall going back to 1875, there has been 19 uh, floods in the city of Marshall and, and the majority of those have been either uh, heavy rainfall upstream or heavy and, and fast snow melt in the spring. Um, the most recent flooding uh, happened in 1993 when we had the Mother's Day, Father's Day and the 4th of July flooding. But going back um, before that, in 1957, there was a, a flood that was uh, really affected about nearly 90% of the city. And following that, the Army Corps of Engineers uh, designed and constructed a flood control project that we know as the Diversion Channel. And what that uh, does is from the diversion structure that is just east of County Road 7, uh, it takes a, the excess flow um, and rather than it all going into the river through town, takes the excess flow, diverts it through the diversion channel around the north side of the city and then it converges then back with the uh, Redwood River uh, near uh, North 7th Street near Justice Park. Um, in 1969, then, um, the project that was completed in 1963 uh, was, uh, it was clear that that did not function as it was designed because the river left the river bank before it got to the diversion structure and also after it re converged back with the river at North 7th Street, uh, flooded into the city from both the southwest side and the northwest side, so it actually made things worse. So in 1974, then, uh, Congress authorized a, a correction to this diversion uh, structure, and so it would function as it was originally designed. That was not funded, and then following the 1993 floods, uh, we worked with our congressional representatives, and it was funded, and it was completed in 1996. So from a historical perspective, um, the, we have not had a flooding situation in Marshall since that project has been completed. And we have had higher uh, flow levels, high, higher river levels uh, since that time than we have really ever had before. Um, the higher than 1957, higher than 1969, higher than, uh, actually higher than 1993. So, Flood stage uh, begins at 14 feet of, of elevation on the river, um, and we reach, reached 15.9 feet uh, yesterday, which was Monday at about 11.30 in the morning. The uh, following that, um, it has receded, and now we are just under 15, 15 feet, and we expect it to go down unless we received uh, uh, more heavy rain upstream. And I mentioned upstream because there's a, the upstream in the 38 river miles, there's a, just over 700 feet of elevation change. So when there's a, a, a heavy rain up in the Florence and Ruthton and Tyler area, roughly 24 hours later, it does arrive in Marshall. And that's certainly what we experienced uh, uh, over the weekend and, and yesterday when we did hit the crest. So the historically high was in 2018 and that was in April, that was a spring melt um, and caused an ice jam. And the ice jam um, caused the water to back up roughly where I'm standing right now. And it got to uh, just over 19 feet, actually 19.8 feet. When it reaches 19 feet, it will go over the fixed base weir that is behind, uh, behind me right now. And that fixed base weir is set that that's the level that it overflows from the Redwood watershed into the Cottonwood watershed. The Cottonwood watershed is on the other side of Highway 23, uh, roughly in the area where the Klein Edition is behind me. 
that is in the Cottonwood watershed. So that, that fixed base weir is, was set uh, based on engineering and science and what, was, uh, what were the natural conditions before development happened here. So that is the only time that it has overflowed and that was for a brief period of time and that was caused by an ice jam. So that's the highest level that the river has ever had, 19.8 feet. The second highest level was in July 3rd of, of uh, 2018 and at that level of 17.4 feet and as I mentioned earlier on yesterday on Monday it did reach 15.9 feet. So long story short is that uh, we have had uh, some historic levels of water in the Redwood River and it has been contained by the flood control project so the city of Marshall has not experienced flooding that it would have had the this project not been in place. Once again, this is Bob Burns, Mayor of the City of Marshall.